and we would like to implore you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus if you haven't done so already. It's at the website below just now. Louder. We Yes, yeah. louder. Yes. It's our first full morning in Auckland and we are heading towards Albert Park and we were told by the lady at reception at the hotel that there are lots of hills in Auckland and I can tell you that Albert Park is on a hill. Our first look at the Sky Tower and here we are at Albert Park. The umbrella is up. Oh my gosh! Steps! <laughs> I nearly fell. Um, that wouldn't be a good job, would it? I broke my leg on our first day here. Well, it is rather hilly, I have to say. I've never seen palm trees in a park where the climate is so cool. This is quite amazing. There's not much shelter from the rain under a palm tree. Now I've got a road to cross here. They do drive on the left. So we are used to the direction of traffic when crossing the road. This park is quite steep. It certainly is. And after the breakfast that we just had this morning, wow, I think I need a workout. <laughs> Goodness, look at that over there. Holy cow. I know what that is. It's shelter from the rain. Let's go and take a look. The leaves or the branches are massive. Look at this. This branch has come down. I don't know what type of tree this is, but it's like palm similar. Is it? This is a palm tree I as well. So, because I think that the leaves are similar to the palm tree. Oh wow, look at this. This reminds me. Don't go <laughs> This reminds me of when I was a child. There were little sort of uh, cubby holes inside the trees and the bushes at our next door neighbours. You could just go in there and hide, but no, I'm not doing that today. I'll risk staying out in the rain. I hear birdies chirping. They are saying Kia Ora. Ah, right. And they are probably native birds to New Zealand. At least it'll be easier going back down again. We might slip going down. Jeez. Well, I've got good tread on my sneakers today. These flowers look like broccoli. Do you think it is? Perhaps. Because look, there's like leafy greens over there as well. Is that beetroot? I think it is. Yeah. The irony is, is that we've actually reversed our day. We, <laughs> we were expecting rain this afternoon, not this morning. So we thought, well, let's do all the outdoor stuff in the morning. Yep. Oh no, never trust the weather forecast. No, don't be making those rude jokes, Paul. <laughs> I am not sneaking up behind an old queen. But actually, I am. Queen Victoria reigns supreme here at Albert Park. There she is. Look at that. It's quite a small statue though. Erected by the people of the provincial district of Auckland, to commemorate the 60th year of the reign of Her Most Gracious Majesty, Victoria, Queen of Great Britain and Ireland, Empress of India, 1897. Unveiled by His Excellency, the Earl of Ranfurly, Governor of New Zealand, on the 24th of May, 1899. The Sky Tower. 
and more statues, a couple of cannon. Who's this over here? Let's take a look. I think I might have to do with something during the war or something. Erected by the members of the New Zealand Battery, RA, in memory of their comrades. This looks like a ship's mast. Mm. As if it wasn't wet enough here this morning. There is a waterfall, but it is quite magnificent. Actually, I think it's brightening up a little bit. Oh, look at these fabulous flowers. They are very bright and colorful. Perfect timing because it has actually brightened up, hasn't it, Paul? Yes, it has. The umbrella is half down. And we're now going to look at this building over here, which it looks as though it's a church to me. Like a cathedral of some sort. Yeah, it's magnificent. Look at the clock tower on it. You can see the time, it's 9.20 a.m. I know it's amazing that we're actually out this early. <laughs> At home, I don't even get up till 10 o'clock most days. But you know, I've just spotted something else as we leave Albert Park. What's that? Speaker's Corner, O-M-G. So you you know what that means. It's time for a subscribe. I would like to say thank you all for watching our YouTube channel today in this special that we are doing from Auckland, New Zealand. And we would like to implore you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus if you haven't done so already. It's at the website below just now. Louder. We Yes, yeah. louder. Yes, scream it. Um so the website is it's Paul and Marcus, that is the username and we do appreciate your likes and subscribes. So yeah, do what the lady says, hit the subscribe button below. Thank you. So this is actually not a church, it is one of the University of Auckland buildings and I'm not going to pronounce it in the traditional language, I don't want to butcher it. And it looks as though there's some work going on, there's some scaffolding and some hoardings outside as well. But it's a lovely building and I do like the clock tower. We have another university building here, Pembridge House. It's got the Confucius Institute, the North Asia Centre of the Asia Pacific Excellence, and the Chief Digital Officer also resides in here. If you like our channel so far, why not hit the subscribe button on YouTube? There's lots of construction taking place around Auckland CBD, that is the central business district, or the city centre, and it's primarily, I believe, for a new metro system, an underground system, which is cut and cover. So that is where they cut away the tunnels and then they place the metro system and then build back over the top again. Oh, look at this. This is an earthquake prone building. The building has been determined by Auckland Council as earthquake prone. Oh dear. Well, let's hope there isn't one today. We're standing just inside this little dry bit because there is torrential rain. Look at this. Right, Paul? 
Does this remind you of anything? Of New York? Yeah. Except without the humidity. We're going to wait till this is over, even if it takes all day. <laughs> the rain has finally eased again. Look at this. Amazing what you find just around the corner. Women win the boat. The Women's Suffrage Centenary Memorial here celebrates the historic gaining of the vote by New Zealand women in 1893. Pay heed to the dignity of women. The Civic Theatre looks rather grand and next to it, just on the left, is the event cinemas with an IMAX. So this store behind me is Smith and Coffees. It is an Auckland institution. I think it's a New Zealand institution actually and it's one of their big department stores. Do they have a coffee shop? Gosh, I sure hope so. Is it time to go in? Look at all this stuff they have on offer. So I have ordered Earl Grey and it has to kind of be straw. So hopefully I have... Um, well, it says how long to brew it for because look, it's from Harney and Sons. And on my English breakfast, it says steep five minutes. Mine says the same thing, five minutes. Well, do you want to give it a go? Do you know what this reminds me of? Bewley's in Dublin. Really? Where they actually write on a piece of paper the amount of time that you should brew it for. So, shall I pour? Well, let's see how it turns out. Well, that looks strong enough, I think, for you. So, for Earl Grey, I just want a spot of milk. You're splashing it on the oh table. Gosh. Right <clears throat> Meanwhile, I am having a fruit scone with Craig's New Zealand Natural Butter. A lady was asking us where we were looking for, and we said, oh, do you have a cafe restaurant? And she said, yes, and she recommended the scone. So that is why I have hey. chosen it. So what do you got there? It's a sultana scone. Let's see. Do you know with scones that you're supposed to be able to just break them in the middle without using a knife? But I've never actually tried that and I don't want to make too much of a mess. Although having said that, <laughs> I'm making a mess. Look at this. I think it's so fresh. Mmm. Yes, it's been baked this morning. And it's only been two hours since breakfast. One Ooh. is still hungry, are we? Well, I don't know. I just can't resist the storm sometimes. Let's give it a go. How does it compare? Mm. It's quite moist. It's very fresh. It's lovely. Does it taste similar to the ones we have back home? No. There's, there's something about this. It's 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 more of a spongy texture. Ah, mm -hmm. spongy. Mm. That's lovely. It's a piece of candy. Mmm, it goes very orangey. Bon appetit, my mm -hmm. dear. So, farmers, this is the other big department store, is that right, Paul? Yes, it is. So I think that we should also have a look inside. Okay.
Well, I've just come out of Farmers and we met a lovely young lady in there who gave us some recommendations about places that we should visit while we are here and we might get round to them. Hopefully we will. So yeah, it's a great department store and also Smith and Coffee. Coffees as well where we had the tea and that fantastic nice. scone that I showed you. The Guardian, this looks like a newspaper office. I'm sure it is. Look, it's got a trademark clock. We are at Brutto Mart and it's a shopping centre and a railway station. The building behind us is the railway station, so we're going to go and take a look in there, aren't we, Paul? Let's go before we all get so bad. Yeah, so we're going to walk in through these doors right here. Look at this. Oh. And I can see in front of us the list of the destinations. Let's see where we might be able to go. You could go to Papakura, Newmarket, Swanson, yeah. Do you know what? Newmarket is where they have a Westfield. Don't really? we have that in London as well? Westfield's everywhere. There's one in New York too. This is where you top up the at half, is that correct? Okay, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so if I want to make, so I'm a popcorn user. Okay, yes. Wait, what? It doesn't even work. Maybe you need to put, you've got to put your card in first. Oh, right. So we haven't registered our cards yet, but you would come to a machine like this to top up basically, right? Yeah, so I think that you have the option to either use card or pay with cash. Oh, I think it's the other way around. Yes. Coins as well, look. Oh. Okay, looks like we are going to be eating at the Brit. So it's gonna be a Brit at the Brit. So let's head in. So many places that you want to visit, Paul, but no, we've, we've, just, we've just been to the Brit and you had a chicken burger. Uh, yeah, so it was like a fried chicken. It felt like it was a buttermilk chicken burger, so that was quite good. I had a little bit of it. It was very spicy, wasn't it? It was very spicy. But that's, that's what you wanted because you like your spice. I had the fish and chips. It was maybe a little bit on the salty side. But it was still very, very nice. And again, the staff in there were very friendly, just like everybody seems to be here. Yes, we're now going into Commercial Bay and it's a shopping center, isn't it, Paul? Yes, there's like some really high-end luxury brands as well as other brands too.
scotch and soda, Paul. Oh, really? I didn't even notice. Then you should go in. Look, there is an A6 store as well, I think. And then there's a Life Pharmacy. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel today. And I wanted to remind you to hit the subscribe button for those that, of you that haven't subscribed already. And we do also appreciate your likes and comments.